Hi, my name is Alicia, and today I'm going to be discussing the new book by Marie Lu, Sky Hunter. And this book was amazing. Marie Lu, all her books I have been in love with, and this was not a disappointment. It was totally different, totally new. Her ideas was amazing. Honestly, I loved it so much, and it was such a fun read. If you haven't read this book, this book is about a girl named Talon. She cannot speak. She Her vocal cords were damaged, so she just signs, and she is a striker. These are fighters for Mara against the Carenza Federation. They are taking over the world, and Mara is the last standing country, and they are fighting against them. So anyway, she is a striker. She goes out and tries to kill these ghosts that the Federation have made. These ghosts were people, but now they are pretty much monsters. They'll kill you. If they bite you, you turn into a ghost. So basically the strikers are just trying to get rid of them as fast as possible and trying to pretty much defend. They're not really fighting against the Federation, but they're tr just trying to defend Mara so it's not taken over. And anyway, Talon is super awesome and she's a group of friends and basically a prisoner from the Federa Federation is taken into custody and that is pretty much where the story starts out at. So if you haven't read it, Go and read it and then come back and discuss because it was so good. I loved it. Yep, that's all I'm going to say. Bye. Okay, uh, this book. Wow. Okay, well, when I got this book, I really had no idea what it was about. And I was so surprised. I, automatically, I really loved Talon. I loved her character. I loved her story. I love that she like does sign language and stuff. I think that is so cool. And it's interesting that everyone else signs too. And as a striker, it's, it is something that you need to learn because they have to be so silent so the ghosts don't eat them. And that is just so interesting. I really liked it. Talon was super interesting and I loved her character. She was so brave, but she was also compassionate and loving. And I just really liked her character. I thought she was great. Her development was fantastic. And I'm so excited for the next book. Oh my gosh. But okay, one thing that kind of shook me when I started reading the book, I thought like a sky hunter was what Talon was, but they're like strikers. And I was like, what the heck is a sky hunter? And then when Red comes in, I'm like, well, he's probably a sky hunter. And it was really interesting how he was like so heavy and stuff. And I was like, what is the deal with this guy? And we don't really see him come out of his shell until the premiere's there and he's trying to find Red and then he sends all the ghosts out and Red just like whips out, it's flying around, his wings are just like stabbing all the ghosts and he's just killing everyone and that was so weird. But it was so cool and Marie Lu, all of her books, all the fighting scenes are just so well done that it actually feels like you are there and you can see exactly what's happening. She is so detailed and I loved it. It was so interesting to hear about Red and like his transformation, his eyes change and just like his wings and just the whole thing. It was really interesting and I really loved it. I kind of saw like Talon and Red's chemistry from like the very beginning. I was like, they're definitely like gonna get together and stuff because she like saved him and like they just have chemistry even though they don't speak the same language. I think they liked each other's spunk. Right out of the beginning, Talon is able to like calm him down and I thought it was gonna be kind of like the avatar like with guitar, like just calm her down. But then like Red grabs her face and like puts their heads together and I thought he was gonna kiss her. But then he, she like sees him and then they're like all of a sudden linked and they can talk to each other through their minds that was so cool and I thought it was cool like whenever she would sign he could understand her but if someone else signed he didn't understand that and same with her and and his language it was just really cool and I thought that was like awesome that they're able to communicate so well 
I just love that whole part. Adena was awesome. And Jaren, they are just so brave. Jaren, I felt so bad for him. His father is literally horrible, but I'm glad that the first blade, their relationship, I really loved it. I'm so glad the first blade believed him and was able to talk to Talon and get to the bottom of the whole thing with the speaker of Amara. Actually was kind of like talking with the Federation and the Premier and was trying to save himself. That was a total joke. The whole like them trying to like figure out how like the ghosts and and Red's blood and then they go on that huge thing and the first blade like warns them that they need to go. I was like, oh they did it, they did it and I just cannot believe that the speaker would do that. That he they kinda had a chance and it kinda blew it. Honestly, I was like, what's gonna happen now? And cause that wasn't even like that far into the book. We still had like a ton of the book left. And I was like, what? What, like what do they do now? Like they're caught, um, everything's pretty much over. And I was just like really sad because they worked so hard and I don't know. I just can't believe the speaker threw everyone under the bus. But yeah, I loved the friendship and I loved how close everyone was. Who else was like super sad when Cory and her first striker died? That was like so intense. Like. I was shocked that he died because I was like, what the heck? Like, one of her best friends and like, her striker died. He seemed like such a great guy and just so kind and like loving towards Talon and that was just really disappointing. I did want to get to know Corian a little bit better. I feel like Marie Lou does that. She does that in her book. She like kills off like a important character right off the bat like I guess they're not like super important but they seemed cool and I wanted to get to know them and they're awesome and she just has to kill them but <laughs> overall the book was really good but Cory and I was really sad but the end of the book when the premiere offers safety for Talon's mom and her and she's gonna become a sky hunter ah uh, I don't know Oh my gosh, look at the book. So there's like Talon right here, but then her shadow is like red with the wings. Did not even notice that. Pretty cool, can you see that? That is cool. So now she's gonna be a sky hunter. I don't know what's gonna happen like with the whole them being connected and having their link. like. So she's gonna become a sky hunter too, but is her link gonna stay with Red? Or is she gonna be linked to the premiere or some other person? So I just have so many questions. Overall, this book was so great. The length is awesome. It's not too long, it's to the point. The scenes are so great, so detailed. And the story is one that you cannot put down. I loved it. I want to know a little bit more about these ghosts. I was really hoping that Red's blood was able to turn the ghosts back to the human form, but I feel like they're way too gone to go back, but that would be so awesome if all the like people could go back. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Red's background story. Okay, so the whole like, Thing about her and her mom getting away and making it to Mara and that soldier that didn't shoot her the kid I literally did not even think about him I was like mm, don't even care like that was just like the story I just thought that was that but then Talon notices that red is that boy and I'm like what that's red that was really a shocker and then like Red figures it out. I don't know. That was really cool. I did not see that coming. I feel like that's another thing that really brings them closer. It's just like so heartbreaking that the Federation is so horrible to their people. Like if you're not willing to give everything up to them, then they're just gonna kill you and your family and turn them into ghosts and that's that.
Yeah, the whole ghost thing is pretty horrible. And like the whole thing with the strikers, they have like that thing that you work in twos because if one turns into a ghost and the other one has to kill them, that's just horrible. The Federation is pretty bad. The whole goal on like making the world better, I'm like, okay, like nothing's ever gonna be perfect, but that's not okay for you to like kill your people and to make them turn into these monsters just to get your way, so. I'm just super curious for the next one because the next one, Mara has been taken. Everything is gone. Like, what is the Federation gonna do now? Talon is gonna be a sky hunter. That's weird. I wonder what they're gonna do. Is she gonna have a voice? Are they, cause he said like he could like work on that. Are they gonna like make her speak again? I don't know. I thought it was really interesting. I feel like I haven't ever read a book that the main character can't speak. I feel like that was awesome. And honestly, this book was so good. I'm so glad I read it. If you have any comments or want to discuss more, comment down below. I love this book and would love to talk to you more about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and thank you so much. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.